Hello friends, welcome back to Graceful Living and welcome if you are new. My name is Dina and I would love to welcome you to come along with me as I share with you my shopping trip to Walmart. Now if you watched my latest Target shop with me that I just uploaded last Friday, you will know this shopping trip is going to be a little different than the norm. Last week I walked you through the process of picking out and putting together bathroom decor without purchasing a thing. I used a store in cap to kind of display it. I came up with a grand total of the items we used and then I put it all back. And today we're going to do the same exact thing here at Walmart. Just like last week, I thought the easiest way to begin this project would be to pick out our art piece first. Now, as you can see, there wasn't a lot to choose from, so I decided to go with the world map canvases. It's a set of three, and I feel like it will give us the opportunity to create a more masculine look this time. Just down the aisle was a beautiful mirror and of course I'm going to pick out a clock because you know I love to have one in my bathroom as I'm getting ready. Now this clock would probably stay on the vanity just sitting atop of an easel. I did not find one today but the clock is rather small so I don't think that I would hang it on the wall. Now as you can see Walmart has a variety of window coverings and actually there were two different aisles just full of window coverings. Now I just kind of glanced here but I did want to see if they had a shower curtain that would match the look we were going for and then we will come back if needs be. Now looking for towels once again Walmart shelves were rather empty just like Target so we don't have a lot to choose from, but I think we can accomplish this. Actually, I know that we can. <laughs> I've seen the end of the video, but let's go ahead, look around and see what we can come up with. say when it came to vanity organization Walmart has target beat when it comes to the number of items that they have in stock they have a vast array of different styles and colors both so it made it quite a bit easier to choose from in that section As I began this trip, I was really hoping to find something with color that I don't normally use here at home, but when there's not a lot to choose from, I just went with what I thought was best. This does, again, give me the opportunity to go with something a little bit more masculine. Now, this canvas piece does have a lot of different shades of gray, so I'm going to try and pick up one of the main shades here in the canvas. Now, it doesn't really show up on camera, but it's absolutely beautiful, and these towels go perfectly with it. The color is called Smoke, and it's such a pretty color in person. I wish it was coming across on camera how it does in person it's very pretty together and so I went ahead with this combination and I think it's perfect plus better homes and gardens does offer some really pretty bath towels now I will caution you I did purchase them quite a few years ago for our daily use towels and they just didn't hold up very well in the wash they did as far as holding together but the color faded and completely changed very quickly so for display they're beautiful towels but for an everyday use I just feel like they don't hold true to the color so they may have changed their products since then but I just wanted to let you know if you are going to choose a better home and garden towel maybe try a washcloth or a hand towel for a little bit see how it does as far as the color stay if it stays then I would say go for it because they are really nice towels I did pick up this bath mat yet again because I just think it is a nice thing to have hanging over your bathtub and 
obviously it's very useful now again here in the vanity aisle or the vanity section they had a lot to choose from i am going to go ahead and pick up this finger towel holder I did pick it up in silver because I was thinking of our bathrooms and we do have chrome fixtures. So I thought it would go well, even though we have the black, gray and gold going on in our decor. Again, keeping with that more masculine look, I want to look for something that is really going to pair well with that. So let's go ahead, take a little look around and see what we can come up with from this section. I was hoping to find something I could pair with the gray towels that was just a little bit lighter. I was looking for a taupe color on the other side of the aisle and didn't see anything. I came over here and found these. Now they're not as well made as the Better Homes and Garden, but for display, I think they will work out just perfectly. Now on my way to the shower curtains, I did find a couple different organization or storage units. So I just wanted to share those with you and then we'll move on to the shower curtains. On this trip, I was really hoping that I could find a conventional shower curtain to use, but there really wasn't anything here that complemented the decor that we had already picked out. So I thought about maybe using some fabric. So I headed over to the fabric section. I did find one type of material that I thought might work. It does look a little bit busy, but I'm thinking it's looking really busy because it's so close to everything else because I know our shower curtain here in our home i absolutely love it and if i'm thinking correctly i would think that it was busy in the cart as well but in the room i think it looks absolutely lovely so this is just another option that could be used obviously it has the globes compass and things like that so i thought it would pair really well with the canvas art that we've already picked out and again it's a more masculine look As I made it to the end of the aisle, I felt like I hit the jackpot with all these artificial potted plants. I think greenery adds so much to any space. So I'm gonna pick out a few of these and hopefully it will go well with the display that we put together later on. I wanted to share something with you really quickly here. Walmart's wedding aisle is something that I utilize all throughout the year. It is a great 
place to find seasonal items that just add a little pop of elegance to your displays. These are elements that you can't find in any other place here in Walmart. They're usually only located in the wedding aisle and the prices are really, really great. So the next time you're in here, maybe look for something for your fall displays, Christmas, Valentine's. There's just always something here that you can add to any seasonal decor. One other thing that I wanted to share with you really quickly, Walmart is where I purchase all of my olive branches. They're $3 a piece and I usually pick them up all throughout the year. I will grab one in just our weekly shopping so that I have them on hand. I just like the look of them over the ones at Hobby Lobby. I don't know if I've seen them at Michael's, but I think for $3, it's a great price and a great look. If you came along with me on my Target shop along last week, you will know I really didn't pay attention to the price of things and I will say I'm not paying attention here either. My main concern in these videos is to be able to decorate the entire space by finding items at one store and one store only. But keeping that in mind, I have found there are items I have picked out that I don't think I would purchase on a normal shopping trip. These lanterns, although I think they are very pretty, they are a little too expensive in my opinion. With the large one being just under $20, that seems a little on the expensive side to me. While here at Walmart and in this aisle, I couldn't help myself and had to add a wax warmer to my decor. I absolutely love ours at home and change the melts out on a daily basis. This is one more way to ensure that our home always smells fresh each and every day. I will admit Walmart is not my first choice when it comes to shopping for home decor. Now that's not to say I don't find great items here, but I do feel like I can find something very similar and at a better price point at Hobby Lobby. So as I walked around looking for decor today, I was a little shocked to find that there are decor pieces spanning from the very front of the store to the very back wall. Now I don't know if that is something that is just 
our store or if that's something that Walmart does on purpose all across the board. to finding something to use as a shower curtain like last week I'm going to pick out a couple curtain panels being open to using these over just a conventional shower curtain really helps open up the opportunity to so many more choices they are really easy to install you can either slip it over the rod through the rod pocket or you can use drapery rings. Now I love the ring idea because it helps the shower curtain glide easier across the rod and it also gives you a few more inches in length and I think that is really important in making your space look a little grander. I did receive some questions about our shower curtain so I wanted to take a quick moment to share a few pictures with you. I do use drapery rings for my decorative curtain and pair them with shower curtain rings for my liner. I then have a whole nother set of shower rings behind the curtain to help give length to the liner with the use of ribbon. This second set here makes it easy to take off and clean the liner anytime it's needed. Because we are focusing on decorating this space in a more masculine style, I thought we could look for a few accessories here in the men's hygiene section. Now my husband uses a shave brush and lather soap each day and I love using some of his items to decorate his vanity with. So I was hoping to find something like that here. While they didn't have a shave brush or bar soap, I did think this safety razor was a good look and then this product lent itself to the color scheme so I picked that up as well. Now that I've collected all the items and maybe even a few extra that might not be needed, but honestly, I think over buying just a little is perfect. That way you have more than enough to fill your space when you get home and you can always return what you don't need. As I began to put this video together, I noticed I had lost a lot of footage. So I want to apologize for not having every part of me putting this display together, but I'm sure you get the gist of it. Once I did get it all displayed and took a step back, I'll have to say I love it. I think it all works together very well, and I think it would make a great look for any bathroom. I've always liked the looks of decorative globes, so I might be a little partial to that. And of course, the color story is a favorite of mine as well.
Okay, now that I've displayed it all together, I will walk you through each item, inserting a picture, the price, and UPC code. And at the end, I'll share the grand total of all the items used. So remember, if you like an item, this is the perfect time to hit pause and take a screenshot. Today, as I began to put the finishing touches on this video, I will be honest, it has not been the best of days. If you follow me over on Instagram, you will know I picked Brooklyn up this morning from the vet. She had surgery yesterday, but soon after getting home, I had to rush Millicent back into the vet and she ended up having to be sedated for an ear procedure. They're both resting very well this evening and I thank God for it. But I will say in the midst of all the commotion, I became very overwhelmed. I'll admit I do not handle the unknown well at all. Having OCD isn't all sunshine and roses. It's not just clean rooms and organized pantries. No, it can be a day filled with fear. Not being in control of what's going on can send my mind into a complete spiral. I feel like someone else takes over my body. I get caught in the midst of a whirlwind and I can't see a way out. My patience is void. And I find myself snapping answers back at my poor husband's questions. I don't mean for that sinful nature to take over, but somehow it does every single time. It's almost like I'm broken and I don't know how to pick up the pieces. Until I remember to go boldly before the throne of our gracious God. And there we will receive his mercy and will find grace to help us when we need it most. The Bible also reminds us that from the ends of the earth, I cry to you for help when my heart is overwhelmed. Lead me to the towering rock of safety. Remembering that his word can give us the perfect vantage point his presence brings a peace that passes all understanding and his strength offers a comfort nothing else on this earth can. So if you are feeling overwhelmed today, I pray that you can rest assured he is and can be there for you like no one else can. Okay, it looks like the grand total came to $351.57. Now, if I remember correctly, that is a little less than what we quote unquote spent at Target. And I feel like we ended up with quite a few more items here at Walmart. 
Now, I hope that you enjoyed this mock shop with me and maybe found some inspiration for your own space. But most of all, remember that creating a happy and healthy atmosphere doesn't cost a dime and is the most important item you can add to your home. Now, if you are new, please consider becoming a part of our little Graceful Living family by simply hitting that little red subscribe button down below. It doesn't cost a dime and I would love to have you be a part of this wonderful community. But for now, I hope you have a great rest of your week. Remember to stay safe, be blessed, and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye, everyone.